very often we get confused when we are being asked questions based on maps. An easy solution to this is map reading. Once we understand about all the elements of maps, it becomes easy for us to deal with this topic. So, today Homeschool has brought a new video for you all which will help you to understand how to read a map and what are its important elements. So, let's begin. Before we learn about the elements of maps, we must know what is a map and what are its types. Maps are the representation of the real world, just like our pictures are our representation. And there are three types of maps, political, physical and thematic. Now let's know about these maps with the help of Indian map. Basically, political maps depict borders of countries, states and important towns. As you can see here, this is the border of the state Assam. This is the border of the country Nepal. If you observe clearly, you can find only borders in this political map. And so, the title of this map is given as India political map. Next type is physical map. Physical maps shows the relief features on the earth's surface such as oceans, seas, lakes and rivers. They also show landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains and islands. For example, the physical features like Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, the Himalayas, the Great Indian Desert, Lakshadweep Island, Andaman and Nicobar Island etc. are shown in this physical map of India. Now let's talk about the thematic maps. Thematic maps give us information of specific themes like distribution of rainfall, agricultural products, minerals and national parks. These maps also give us the details of roadways, railways and airways. Suppose we want to know which are the places that has national parks. Then this thematic map will show us the places with national parks. Now let's learn about the key elements of maps. The first element is title. We should see the title of a map which gives information about it. For example, India Political, World Physical or Delhi City Maps. As we have already learned about the three types of maps which are political, physical and thematic, now we can easily understand what type of map it is or by observing the map we can identify its title. The next element is direction. We should always know the four cardinal directions east, west, north and south. Look at this map of India. This is north, this is south, this is east and this is west. We can also find out which places lie in which direction. For example, Jammu and Kashmir is in the north, Punjab is in the west. Assam is in the east and Tamil Nadu is in the south. Apart from these cardinal directions, there are four intermediate directions which are northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. Another element of a map is the colors depicted on it. We can see some specific colors shown on the physical maps which represents the physical features of a particular place. As for example, in the map of India, brown color represents the Himalayas, green color represents the Great Indian Desert, yellow color represents the plateaus, reddish color represents the mountains and blue color indicates the water bodies. Legend or key is another important element of a map. 
The key usually shows a small picture of each of the symbols used on the map along with the written description of the meaning of these symbols. Some common conventional symbols are shown here. The last but the most important element of a map is a map scale. We scale things down so that they can be carried or stored easily. For example, our photographs. Just like we scale down our photographs, maps are also being scaled down so that larger areas can be shown on a small piece of paper. This is a large area shown on a piece of paper. The map maker has scaled it down and mentioned the scale on it. This ratio, that is 1 is to 10,000, is the scale of the map. Now, Using this scale, we can translate the distance shown on the map into the distance on the ground. According to the scale, 1 cm on the map is equal to 10,000 cm on the ground. Suppose we want to travel from this area to that area and the distance we found is 10 cm. Now let's calculate. If 1 cm is equal to 10,000 cm, then 10, 10 cm is equal to 1 lakh cm. Now let's convert cm into meter. If 1 meter is equal to 100 cm, then 1 lakh cm will be 1000 meter. And 1000 meter is nothing but 1 km. So, the distance on the ground is 1 km. In this way, we can find out the actual distance with the help of the map scale.